Hey everybody, I'm Shane. I'm Lutz. Let's talk telemetry. Yes, let's do it. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of talk yeah. around, you know, the last the last month. The water cooler, or in our case, the Scotch cooler. Oh, the web is the web's blowing up. Um, about everyone's saying, oh, how do we how we disable window spying and things like that? It's actually the Windows telemetry, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. I guess one of the biggest surprises, I mean, people have been knowing about this in Windows 10, but in recent months. They um, released some. Uh, yeah, Microsoft has been making the same telemetry, uh, uh, you know, tracking changes, the same yeah. changes in Windows 7 and 8.1 and, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So um, scoured the web a little bit and, and uh, I mean, a little bit. A and, bit. Just gra and just grab some of the more, some of the more popular uh, settings that we, mm -hmm. can, that we can go ahead and disable. So there are some there are some GPOs apparently out there that you can also run to uh, to uh, remove some of this. But this we're going to go enough. we're going we're to take a little deeper of a dive. So if uh, in order to do in order to use the, the package that we have made available, uh, you're going to need to have uh, uh, PDQ deploy version seven. It's currently in beta. Mm -hmm. Recommend that you have beta um, or that you use at least beta four. That's the that's the current. That's the reason for that is uh, we've got some Windows 10 parameters, and mm -hmm. those are introduced into PDQ Deploy 7. Yeah, it's a Deploy 7 that actually has a, a, an actual Windows 10 co uh, condition. Mm -hmm. So if you're running, if you're running beta 1 of, uh, of that, please upgrade to the latest beta. And we're hoping to have a full release of uh, PDQ Deploy 7 in the next week or two. So yep. anyway, if you, if you are running the beta, then you will see this package out there. If you're not, if you're running the uh, version six or five, then you won't see this. Yeah, right? Shane got up early this morning, like eight, <laughs> to put that out for everybody. <laughs> I'm just going to type in TLE. There it is. It's called Disable Windows uh, Telemetry and Tracking. We're going to just go ahead and import that. So you built this over coffee, did you? I, I, I built. I actually started building this like two weeks ago, and then last night I made some changes to it. So, mm, okay. and then just I was testing it out over the over the. You know, over the evening, and wanted to see if if it died, if anything died on this, and then um, uh, then this morning just gave it another look see, and then uh, put it up in the package library. So you should all see it if you're running Deploy Seven. Hey, cheers, man. It's cool. All right, let's go ahead and open this up before we. There's quite a few moving parts with this. Yep. So um, step one. No, notice we've got six command steps. Mm -hmm. So step one. We're going right to the registry. We're mm -hmm. gonna hack. The registry is going to love to. I'm going to you know, kill you. You're going to kill me for that? Mm -hmm. All right. So all, all we're doing is a si what, one simple command. We're just mm -hmm. uh, changing the the uh, allow telemetry value mm -hmm. in the registry, and this only this is only applicable to Windows 10. So uh, there are other steps in this package that will work on 8.1 and Windows 7, etc. But this is just a Windows 10 one. You can see the uh, OS version. We have that uh, condition set there. And it, once again, that's just going to disable the allow telemetry value. Yep. Uh, then we're also going to stop in step two. Um, and this works for not just Windows 10, but 7 and 8 as well. Uh, we're going to stop the Diag track service. That's the Windows Diagnostic mm -hmm. Tracking Service. And then we're going to set that, that service to disabled. Yeah, there, uh -huh. so it won't restart when you restart your machines. If you are building this from scratch, um, you're not going to use the package that we provided. If you use the SC config as you see that, uh, just notice this has always been the case with the uh, awesome SC command. Whenever you're changing um, status, notice there's a space uh, after the equal sign before the value. Yeah. Right there. So it's a SC config diag track, which is the name of the service. Start equals. There's no space between start and equals, and then there has to be a space between that and whatever you're setting it to. Just uh, save you some potential headache. And then uh, for Windows, this is a Windows 10 service. Uh, we are going to also stop the uh, DMW app push service mm -hmm. and uh, set, also set that to disabled. Now, these are the uh, patches that uh, were introduced in Windows 7. These are that, Seven, I, that eight, I could yeah. find. They're, they're, some sites said, eh, go ahead and remove three of these. Others said four. Um, we went after say, Just kind of culling through. I just went through and found, found a bunch that, that were all introduced right around June, July, and up until last month that that modify the telemetry settings. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, this is a great way to get rid of them if they're already there. Another thing you can do if you're using a uh, WSUS server mm -hmm. is decline these packages so they don't get pushed out. Yes, for WSUS in your environment, that's that's actually mm -hmm. the way to do it. For those of you who aren't using it, um, and also remember, we can, we can dis uh, push these out, but if you've got your client set to uh, automatically install all updates, they're just going to get this yep. again. So, grab them, so yeah, you're going to have to get 
you're going to have to kind of keep keep on top of that. Uh, WSUS is a great is a great tool if you want to. It's a good tool for Microsoft. Yeah. And, you know, Lex came over came came over to the office because Lex handles our WSUS over here, and he just said, "Hey, just so you know, um, these are these have been disabled. They're, yeah. You know, he'd done the homework and said these don't look like something we want." And we're not going to go off on a, on a rant or anything about, you know, ooh, window spying or anything like that. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not too, I'm, I'm personally not too put out by some of these. Some of these I do want turned off, but I'm not going to be doing backflips and, you know, looking for black choppers. Uh, you may. Oh, I'm not, I don't Black care. choppers? I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Oh, yeah. Okay. At the same time, you know, some of this, some of this data you may not want out. Yeah, personally, I'm. More of a security nut. I don't want any of that going out, so I catch it as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what we're that's what we're doing here. So the disable CEIP. That's the uh, that's Microsoft's customer um, experience and improvement program CEIP. And there are some tasks. JJ, if you don't mind, I'm going to just try to put these on one line here for a second. So I'm going to make this a little wider. You might want to zoom out just for a moment. So this is just three commands. It's just wrapping. Let's see, let me go one little bit more. So these are three commands just to change, there we go, just to change in task scheduler uh, these tasks to uh, disable. Yep. All right, so if you haven't had, if, if you haven't had machines, Windows 7, these are all for Windows 7, 8, 8, 1, mm -hmm. 2012. If you haven't uh, had updates pushed to those in the last little while since like, you know, June, then this, prob this, this uh, customer experience improvement program probably won't Exist, exist yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, if you haven't updated your, if you haven't patched your systems, come on, yeah. patch your systems. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and make that a little smaller, JJ. And finally, we're going to blank out the auto logger. Yeah, this is just a fairly large file that you know uh, has a lot of the a lot of the tracking that's sent up to Microsoft. Um, Located in it. This yeah. is just a way just to say, hey, just blank that out right now. Just echo, just echo two quotes to it or you can echo a blank to it or something like that just to clear out what's already there. You can always send Microsoft a note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And uh, I got to say this guys because we I've done some some testing on this but this is a use at your own risk. Yeah. All right? I'm not sure I'm not sure what uh, any any negative repercussions that could happen from this. So uh, So for everything we've tested it turns out yeah, yeah, it turns out fine, and yeah. like I say, I, I grabbed, I, I was grabbing, calling this from more than one website. I mean, mm -hmm. I was just going all over the place and, and checking it out. All right, so let's go ahead and, and deploy this. So this will only work for Windows 7 or higher. So if you try to deploy this to, none of this stuff works on Vista or anything. The telemetry was only backward compatible to Windows 7. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy this. And let's uh, move this to, let's, let's deploy it to a couple of different like okay. Lagavulin. Lagavulin. That's a uh, Windows 10, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Lagavulin 16 is a Windows 10. It's a 32-bit. Uh, Jack Daniels is a 64-bit, uh, I believe. Mm -hmm. And a, a, a Newman, maybe. Newman. That's a Windows 7. Costanza, one of my favorites. That's a good one right there. So obviously, you can obviously we can just come in here and choose targets as well. Yeah. Now, once again, guys, I know I say this every time, I name our machines after whatever I happen to be watching lately. So there's probably Marianne, Ginger, and the Professor in there, too, we could do if we felt the urge. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good one. There's Ginger. You said Marianne? Marianne's a 7. Oh, okay. So there's a Windows 8.1, yada, yada, yada. I will just say deploy, right? Yeah, there you go. So we hit deploy. Do what we do best. Yeah. <laughs> And we still suck at that. You poured a lot more in your glass than mine today. It's because I'm a stingy person. I still have the bottle, though. So you can see uh, the non-Windows the non 10 just skipped right over steps one. Step one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Steps one and three. And let's go ahead. Let's uh, click on, yeah, see, and now Costanza is actually staying on the uninstall MS patch. It's, for, it's removing those patches right now. Mm -hmm. So if we actually go take a peek, I'm going to open up PDQ inventory, and go to Costanza, or uh, something that's going to be closer to being done. Did you, uh, we did Ginger, right? Mm -hmm. Was Ginger all, all, did Ginger have all the patches? Applied all of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
look at the hot fixes. So we should see there's 214 hot fixes. If this if if, if Ginger did in fact have some of those, then we should see that that mm -hmm. number drop. Oh, there's a scan. Yep. So if, it looks like she had four of those, and yeah. now we're down to 210. So we removed those patches. Um, also, remember you can always go over here to the logs. So let's go to Ginger's logs there. Obviously, she skipped one and three because she's not Windows 10. Yep. Um, let's take a look to see if those tasks. Yep. That's just the output saying you know, the those tasks were changed to. Uh, to a disabled state. Yep. So, hopefully this hopefully this will help you guys out. If this is something that you're concerned about, then hopefully this will uh, you know help help you out in your environment. You know, obviously, if you have any questions, you feel free to shoot them out to Annalisa, and she'll throw them up on the screen. Now, I, I did notice a couple of black helicopters this morning <laughs> at the office. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> hey, yeah, just, just it, no questions. Just go ahead and take it. We'll, we'll, we'll take it as read. How's that? Now, if you want to, um, I don't know if we necessarily need to go into this here, but uh, if you want to go and use PDQ inventory, you can scan, you know, the registry. Oh, yeah. You use registry scanners to see which machines have telemetry enabled. You can also make a collection looking for the KBs. Yeah, you can also, we, we could do that as well. Mm -hmm. Um so if we were to actually you want to you want to do that you want you want to do that JJ? All right, let's do it. Okay, we'll do that. So we're going to go over here to PDQ. Uh, you want to just do the KBs right now? Let's do the KBs. Yeah. All right. So let's grab a list of those KBs first of all. I'm going to open up this guy. Move. I'm going to move this up a little bit, JJ, just so I can see. Sounds good to me. These guys. And then I'm going to uh, go over to inventory. And the first thing we want to do is grab a, or actually, yeah, let's, let's, create, let's create a report. How's that sound? So we'll go to reports, do a new report, basic. We'll call this telemetry. Yeah. So we'll say computer, and then I'm gonna, uh, we're going to also look at hotfix. Hotfix name. Perfect. At this point, we just need to add filters, I think. Uh, let's do installed on as well. And now for the filters, we're going to change this group filter to any because we're going to say just show us any, uh, you know, any of these specific hotfixes. We'll change to that. We'll create a, a, a value filter mm -hmm. and say the name contains, and this is where I'm going to use the cheat sheet here. See, make that. I'm going to bring that down here. Make this window a little smaller so I can see that. There we go. Like two nine five two six six four. I won't do all of them. Then I'm going to create another one. Notice, we, since we have any, we can throw the same. We can be looking in the same, uh, you know, table and, and, and column since mm -hmm. we're using the any here. Uh, if you were to use all, then it would actually look every time you, when you ran this, it would say need every, all, every every yeah, single, one, every of single one of these, every, every row has to contain this and this and this and, and nothing. Otherwise, it wouldn't. Yeah, nothing's going to do that. We'll go to two nine seven. I'm going to go to the bottom. Oh, zero okay. eight zero one four nine. Just get a nice little smattering here. Three zero seven. And what was the other one? Five two four nine. Yeah, nine, five two four nine. Yep see that report. We'll just see that right now. Perfect. So these are the machines that currently have these patches. Mm -hmm. So guess what you can do? If you want, you could create a, let's create, oops, let's, I'm going to go back into that report. So it's called telemetry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, new collection from mm -hmm. report. Mm -hmm. Just said okay to that, and now we'll have a new collection. It's going to be on the root level. Telemetry patches. So these are the machines that need that. And I'm not going to deploy to all of these machines, but here's what you can do. From this particular collection now, I could say right, I could right click on that and go to tools, PDQ deploy. And it's going to give me the available pat, uh, packages. Let's say we want to disable Windows telemetry and tracking. And it's going to put up all of those targets right there. We'll 
this, build this to remove some. Uh, Costanza, Costanza's still showing some. Hmm. You know what? Maybe he's still, maybe, maybe he didn't. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you that th he needs to be, this needs to be restarted. How can you find out? Notice we had already deployed to Costanza. And if we come over here, yep. I just clicked on the Costanza and you notice 3010. That means uh, that, that that was on the uninstall MS. 3010 means needs a reboot. it was successful, but it does need a reboot. And we don't, we did not initiate the reboot. So um, once uh, Costanza gets rebooted and rescanned, then those, those, those should all go away. And we'll just go ahead and hit deploy. How's that sound? Sounds good. Now let's remove Brant. Is Brant the one we want to remove? Yeah, let's remove Brant. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. We also have some videos out, out on our site, adminarsenal.com slash videos. Look, uh, look for registry scanners, mm -hmm. or registry scan profiles. And you want to, um, if, you wanna, if you really want to build collections of reports to show machines, uh, based off maybe the telemetry uh, registry value. Go out there and look at those videos. You'll see how you create a, a registry scanner, scan all your machines, and you can build collections based off of that scanned registry data. It's actually pretty cool. And take my word for it. We're back. We're back. Yeah, we're flying blind over here. Once Sorry, again, the most professional webcast on the web. It was, a wire, was it Wirecast took a dump? Wow. All right. We're, we're, we're sorry about that, guys. Uh, as you can see, there's the deployment, and it looks it's really pixelated over here, JJ. I'm not sure if that's going out like that. Quite successful on all those counts. Yep, they were all successful. And, and, and like, while, we, while, we were, while we had the interruption, Lex said, I can't believe we have that many computers that have this. I thought I blocked that at WSUS. I yeah. said, you did. You, but I blocked it for the yeah, machines in here that we use that are not in the lab. Yes, this, these, are, these are lab machines. So I'm like, what the? WSU. WSUS handles the, the just the, our main machines. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so uh, hopefully this answered some of your questions, you guys. The package is out there. It's available. Once again, you have to have Deploy 7 to do it. So uh, there you go. Yep, beta 4 at least, guys. Yeah. If, if we don't have any questions, JJ, should we just do the wrap? All right. All right. Well, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Shane. I'm Lex. We'll talk to you guys later. See you. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. If you didn't get a chance to ask a question that you just thought of just now, you can always hit our support site, support.adminarsenal.com, and we can help you out there. We'll see you next week.